Hey, welcome to Brokenomics. Robin here. NFT avatar investments is a hot topic right now. But as a newcomer, it might be hard to navigate this space. It's super easy to fall for the newest hyped up thing to then find out that you've bought into something of which the hype has dried up already, leaving you with a JPEG file that actually nobody really wants. And therefore, in this video, I would like to highlight one solid NFT project that has already proven some value and which I believe might have value in the long term. As a newcomer, I will show how I would like to engage with this project so that you can see how this will remove barriers to entry for you. Before we start, let's give away some tokens. Some of you might not know the drill. Be subscribed to this channel. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below. And I will pick one lucky winner per 100 subscribers this video will generate uh, and give them 10 banana tokens, which are linked to this project and are valued over $8 a piece already. So make sure to subscribe, comment below. The winner will be announced on Twitter and the community post, which you will get as, you, as a subscriber. The project I want to highlight is called Cyberkongs. It was just like a few weeks ago, I was just chatting with a friend on Discord and I noticed his avatar and asked him about it. And he said, oh, this is Cyberkongs. They have a great community. But then he said something that really caught my attention. He said, if you are one of their Genesis holders, you earn 10 banana tokens a day. So I looked up the banana token. It was trading at around $4 each. I just told you now it's trading at $8 each, right? If you want to participate in the giveaway, subscribe and comment below the video. That really caught my attention because we all heard about Cyborg selling for 90 million, like crazy numbers, uh, Board Aid Yacht Club, you know, selling for extreme numbers like 1.2 million, like far from my bad show stuff. However, we always wonder what is the utility? Well, you know, CyberKong had some utility. So I start looking up, okay, how much is a Genesis Kong then? That was around nine ETH back then for the cheapest one I could find on OpenSea. Today, I think the cheapest that I could find was 18.5 ETH, right? But nine ETH, I was, I was doing some calculations that more than 20K, then $4 banana tokens it was back then would be $40 each. I mean, that would be a great proposition if you know it would be stable, right? So the more I looked into CyberKongs, the more utility I, I found. So what exactly is CyberKongs? Well, it all started early March this year as a fun project where a thousand uniquely randomly generated non-fungible tokens were created. There was no pre-sale pre or pre-release and advertisement, but what happened was actually that the NFT the uh, enthusiasts did pick up on it on OpenSea and liked the minting pro process. And so word spread on social media. And obviously because the 34 times 34 pixel cyberkongs are extremely suitable as profile picture, um, it gained reach and became popular. And then basically the community took over. It became more of a community-based project. Further developed cyberkongs. And within this community, there were some great programmers from the DeFi and NFT space and very quickly they generated the banana token, which then generated these 10 bananas a day for Genesis Cyberkongs for the next 10 years. Furthermore, you could also burn banana tokens to give your Kong unique characteristics like a unique name and a unique biography. And then also with these banana tokens, you could breed and incubate one of the 4,000 randomly generated baby cyberkongs with different traits and rarities. And now cyberkongs is expanding to the metaverse. Cyberkongs is going 3D. The team has purchased a 24 times 24 plot in Sandbox, which is called Kong's Jungle. For this, on the 15th of August, 15,000 voxel-based characters will be released for the metaverse. These are called Cyberkongs 15. 5,000 of the Cyberkongs 15 will be reserved for current holders. Meanwhile, 10,000 of these Cyberkongs 15 will be available for the free market to mint at a price of 0 0.07 Ethereum, which on today's prices comes around $200. Regarding the current holders, for each two-day Cyberkong, it let owners mint playable voxel cyberkong 15 and for the genesis holders these cyberkongs 15 will have the exact same traits as their 2d counterpart so 10,000 cyberkongs will be available for the free market however 
you know, holding it to the uh, Cybercong will give you some additional advantages in the further developments of the project. So here are the ways to get involved with Cybercom in order from lowest barrier to entry to highest barrier to entry. And uh, number one, very simple, purchase banana tokens. That's something that I did straight from Uniswap. And um, I purchased it at a price around $4. And why I did it was because I thought, okay, there's a lot of utility going on here. And, you know, there's a burning mechanism which could be very uh, positive for price action. But keep in mind, this is just a, volat just a token, just a volatile token. It can go up and down. So there's no guarantees. Number two, uh, purchase CyberKongs 15 from the 15th of August for a price of 0.07 ETH, right? And if you're not able to do this, then number three, uh, look at on OpenSea and see whether you can purchase one of those CyberKongs 15 over there, maybe slightly for a higher price point, but um, it's a good alternative. Number four, you can purchase uh, baby CyberKongs for like a floor price around 1.5. For nine ETH, so almost one and a half ETH, right? This is obviously not for everyone, but for someone that is really uh, interested in this project and has the bags for it, um, that's an option. And then number five, purchase a Genesis Cybercoin that will give you 10 banana tokens each day as passive income, right? Um, they're quite expensive at the moment. The lowest I could find on OpenSea was 18.5 Ethereum which you never know in the future. Uh, if you can afford that and you really love it, then obviously you can even buy two Genesis Kongs. You're able to breed baby Kongs from, from that point onward. So I hope you find this interesting. We always try to bring you new opportunities and break it down for you as uh, simple as possible. And make sure if you like this video to subscribe and you're in for the giveaway. See you in the next